but one thing survived. They could not break its following. The game. Leprechaun. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the third night in the ever... Oh, that was rather good method actually. Okay, should we just forget this and uh, go with the game, shall we? Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to start again. And welcome to day three of the rather obscure week of games of. Why is it obscure? Because of this man. He's the king of insanity and, uh, and he's Moody. the man of mirth and he's just wacky. All over wacky. I get let out twice in a month. And Once to do this occasionally month. and do the reviews and once do virtual world of sport and then I have to go and sit in my cell oh and the other one for shock therapy don't forget about that with his electro but it's not working I think they're putting them on my feet it. yeah well they've got it on some part of your body uh, so it shouldn't be there I it's made my leg go numb but I'm not sure which one okay we've got loads of downloadable delights for you today ladies and gentlemen but before we take a look at today's reviews we're going to say Kate where are you? And these guys here, playing it, reckon they've got some pretty neat equipment that help you do that. We offer a wide variety of entertainment for the people other than games. We have a number of games on our unit, but we don't rely solely on the games in order to provide the entertainment. We have music, which will be a remote or a digitally uh, downloaded jukebox that we're going to be having coming out very shortly. And it'll off screen method. We're the first ones to come up with something like this because we designed it with the techno illiterate, what we like to call in the States as Bubba, who doesn't own a computer, doesn't know anything about the internet, and is afraid of being run over by the superhighway. Right. But we made it user friendly so that they can actually take a look at things with just the use of their finger. We've identified certain areas of interest that all they have to do is touch on news, entertainment, business, they can check stocks. It appeals to a wider variety of people than the center countertop too because if someone walks in and isn't interested in playing games, there's so many more things that they can do with our unit. A businessman can check their stocks. They can send email and retrieve email. They can also purchase tickets, like I said, for other events, which gives an operator an opportunity to earn additional income that they can't. Touch screen gaming, what will they think of next? Okay, we're back from Kate, she's a wacky old gal, isn't she? She will be wacky, but I'm being serious now, Barry, sir. Why are you being serious? Please explain to us again why you're being serious. Because he had too many complaints. 98% of the viewers out there said that we are too surreal and wacky, and we cannot mention 1970s kids' programmes anymore. Yeah, but me and you like those kids' programmes, don't we, Drew? Yeah, he's on my side, so we win because it's my show. Oh, Go on back serious. to virtual world of sport. Go on, get back to it. It's a knockout. They don't mind that there. No. You can be as serious as you want. Moving on to the games. What have we got? Pipkins, the game. <laughs> Pipkins, the game. There's no such thing. I didn't say I wasn't going to mention 1960s children's television no programs. <laughs> Pipkins. We have Blast Chamber. That's a rather good shoot em up. Muffin. Then we also have... I like Muffin. Uh, we also have Obsidian. That's a serious puzzle game. And next we have Take a, uh, Your Best Shot, which is what Hong Kong Fooey would do if he were here right now. Wouldn't he, Drew? Yeah, he's better than Pipkin any day, isn't he? Pipkin, isn't that what Norman Wisdom used to be in all of those movies? Loopy Lou. No, it's not a Loopy Lou. Loopy Lou was it's fantastic. Okay, I'll do the reviews and see you back then afterwards. Oh, I better be somewhere. Hong Kong Fooey could take out Loopy Lou and leave nothing left of the girl. The sporting impulse is a noble one. Athletes compete for no other reward than the satisfaction of taking part. In Blast Chamber, however, incentive comes in the form of a time bomb chained to your chest. And unless you're damn good, it's going to blow your legs off. Salvation lies in the form of the crystal, the only object that can stop that final countdown. Players are presented with a simple choice. 
Do they try everything in their power to grab the crystal for themselves, adding vital seconds to their own timer, or else attach the elusive beast to an enemy, bringing him ever closer to the Big Bang? The full game takes place in up to 60 arenas, each one having a tendency to suddenly rotate, throwing even the most accomplished player up against the nearest wall. Not that the walls themselves are particularly safe. Blast Chamber is not a game that's unfamiliar to us because we reviewed the PlayStation version not too long ago. Now, scouring the net on Happy Puppy, we discovered Blast Chamber, the demo. Free, we downloaded it and it's identical to the PlayStation counterpart. Little tiny little sprites running around a completely revolving screen with bombs strapped to them. Absolutely fantastic, great idea. Sometimes it doesn't quite work because the sprites are a little bit too wee and it becomes very confusing. But other than that, I mean, it is a very playable little game. You have to run around and collect a crystal, then you can get special bonuses which like either stops the time on your own sort of bomb and uh, sometimes increases the, the, the time on other people's bombs. I actually liked it. Mm. I've had plenty of time to think about this game while I haven't been at the arcade show. And um, I still That's really have good. years. I'm sure it is. They've got Tekken 3, don't you know? Ever? Yeah. They've got hot dogs They've got hot dogs and popcorn. Really? Yeah. Anyway, but Blast Chamber, mm, I haven't quite made up my mind about it. I mean, I didn't really like the PlayStation version, but I didn't really get a chance to play it very much. And having played this quite a lot, I actually do quite like it. I mean, it's a great idea and it's very well done. I mean, the fact that you can deliberately revolve the arenas is a wonderful touch because you can suddenly send your opponents flying off into the walls at that moment's notice. And it's very satisfying to take time away from the other players' timers and to watch them explode, obviously. Um, sometimes the only fault is, it's so frenetic and as Rick says, the characters are so small, it suddenly gets very confusing and for like long seconds of time, you'd actually know where you are on the screen, so it takes a bit of getting used to. But, I mean, again, it's nice to see an original idea in a computer game, and this certainly is one. So if you want to put in a bit of patience to get to grips with the control system and get to grips with the way the game works, you'll find a very, very rewarding experience. So I think it's great, especially as it is a free download. So thumbs up from me. Thumbs up, even though the characters are very, very wee, very, very wee, very, very wee, very, very wee, very, very wee. Very, very wee. The dragon. <laughs> Frustration. It's an ugly word, isn't it? Are you a victim of misunderstanding? Paranoia? Unrequited love? You think you're frustrated? Well, you're not right. You haven't even started. You're just the tiniest crippled minnow in the great sea of frustration, okay? People who play puzzle games, now they understand. In Obsidian, your task is to assemble the various components of several intricate machines. In each of the game's realms, you'll spend endless hours twiddling with little brass dials, poking cogs, and cursing the day some bored, grunting caveman came up with a whole wheel idea in the first place. If all this wasn't bad enough, top prog rock crony Thomas Dolby has decided to pop in for a quick gloat and write the odd in-game soundscape while he's at it. The finished game features five realms for you to bang your head against. Mercifully, however, this internet demo includes only one complete sector to reduce the likelihood of you waving a fond goodbye to your sanity. We have got Obsidian from Segasoft, which is hooray, an original concept in gaming. Basically, it's a puzzle game, and you're stuck in this dark and rather gothic world where all the clocks have stopped. Basically, it's your job to go around a series of puzzles, right wrongs, restore temple causality, or whatever it's called, and generally get things moving again. Um, unfortunately, it's as boring as hell, what can I say? Um, the puzzles are few and far between. The control system is very confusing. Basically, it's like a push-scroll system where you move from screen to screen and solve puzzles. Um, the puzzles, once you work out what you're meant to be doing, are very easy. I mean, the problem is it takes you about half an hour to work out what you're meant to be doing. I mean, the best thing that can be said about this game is it's got a nice, and dark, and moody, and shadowy. And if you're into puzzle games, then you might like it. But for me, who first took a bit of puzzling, um, I didn't find it interesting at all. Yeah. I was just completely bamboozled by it, to be honest. <laughs> I sat there and I looked at it and I thought, what on earth is going on here? Then I clicked the mouse and it moved and I had a puzzle. And I thought, oh, that was worth finding out. So there you go, that was about it. 
obsidian in a nutshell. You click on something, something weird happens and you get a puzzle. I would go out and buy a copy of the Sun newspaper because at least you've got that and it's not quite as strange. Welcome. I hope you aren't too disoriented. Just before you expect an American to appear draped in gold lame and oozing the last remnants of his tan, Take Your Best Shot isn't a game based on popular game shows. Instead, it is the latest chapter in the epic story of Pong. Cast your mind back to 1976. The landscape of your average American bar is a bleak one. The only attractions for the bright young thing of the 70s are the jukebox in the corner, the forlorn pool table, and if you're really lucky, a working television. Pong changed all that. It was curvy, it was sexy, it made hypnotic beeping noises. Future married couples first locked eyes over its fluorescent screen. Wars were won and lost, and the world of arcade gaming was born. This updated version features the florid sketchings of animator Bill Plimpton, over 50 levels of gameplay and the thrill of pure unadorned playability. Alright, so they're only a bat and ball, but they changed the world and deserve to be welcomed down the phone line of any self-respecting computing household. This free download is basically one section of the game called Take Your Best Shot, which recreates sort of the arcade classic of our youths in a sort of cartoony, um, surreal style. And this is the breakout version called um, Hot Shot. And basically you have two sets of puzzles and you have to break uh, tiles behind your back. Every time you break all the tiles and get rid of them, you move on to the next level. Now in the middle of the screen, there are these funny little squashy men which when you hit them with a ball, they either suck the ball in and it bounces off their faces. And the whole thing basically is rather like a sort of an amusing screensaver rather than the full game. But it's an amusing way to spend five minutes. I mean, I don't think I'd go out and spend money on this, but as we're bringing free download, then I think it's very worthwhile. It's fun, it's funny, it's stylish, and it's, it's worth spending your time downloading and getting the grips with. I can think of other games to update rather than Pong. I like my view. I mean, Pong, so what's all that about? Two bats of ball and ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. And you keep going until you're really utterly and utterly bored. Now, okay, they chucked in a couple of weird little faces and a brick wall behind, but it's essentially the same game. And it is just tedious. I'm really sorry, it's just completely tedious. And uh, quite honestly, Richard is lying anyway because he hasn't got any friends. So I would have to say, I don't like it, even as a free download, it just clutter up your hard drive space. Sorry. Top reviews, would you say, Rick? They were absolutely fantastic reviews, not least because I did them. Yeah, and I think you'll find that Pipkin in the game was removed at the last minute due to some sort of licensing. It's a real shame because I really want to see Top off. Really? <laughs> oh well, you never know, maybe we can shoot you later <laughs> on in the show. You never know. Uh, okay, on to Yesterday Com we had Pop Off. So we got Top Off. Pop Off? She's now on Coronation Street. I That's where I have Lop Off. Really? Okay. Pop Off. Really? Hopefully. Well, you never know, honestly. I think that's where Jude's been the last couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, okay, stand by competition. What, what's today's clue? Right, today's clue is he looks a bit like Billy Idol. My wedding. He looks a bit like Billy Idol, ladies and gentlemen, oh, unlike yes. my friend Rick, who looks nothing like Billy Idol. Uh, he looks kind of like the Violet Blaze, in fact, I'd say. Uh, join us after the break With for loads more... With different hair. Join us after the break for loads of more great action. And action's. facial treatment. Join us after the break for loads of more great action from the ATEI show. Can we have a talk about this, please? No, OK. <laughs> you and me, come on. That's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, look what we've caught, it's the Games Lost Pop Party, Rick. We've got the Spice Girls, look, there's Melanie B and Emma. Tell you what I want, what I really, really want. And, and who's that driver? It's Jarvis! 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 It's Jarvis!
Oh, fantastic. I want to be with the Spice Girls people. All oh. we need is Liam from Oasis. Oh, we've got them all here, ladies and gentlemen. Damon oh. from Blur. You've seen that new dance when we first here. Come on, do back oh, on us now. Fantastic. Another of the Spice Girls. You can't go That's looking at them brilliant. all day. That, that is brilliant. absolutely brilliant. Celebrities and everything. Personal we give friends you of mine, Rick. Personal friends, I reckon. We got Julian Iglesias uh, tomorrow and Luciano Pavarotti might be dropping in from the bar. But I think he already has. Later on in the show, I'll ignore that. <laughs> uh, we're moving on now, in fact. Uh, Bob Mills, unfortunately, he's taken a turn for the worst. He's in yeah. intensive care now, ladies and gentlemen. They've got in the specialists from Routries and uh, <laughs> they don't know where to go at the moment. It's, it's all going downhill very it fast. Is. So what is the next ray and his neck is about that square. He yeah, has, isn't it? Okay. Really They're weird. supposed to make his uh, mouth water, not his eyes, that's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, whilst we're waiting for that, we're gonna be doing a bit of a mistress Mika and we're gonna pop yep, off we around are. the show to Avalon. Three, Ready, two, two, one. one. <gasps> oh, a hush fell upon the auditorium. The clouds parted and seems rained down. Yep, second three, all right. We've been waiting for this one. Now, we've only just had second two on the PlayStation, and we're more than happy with that. But oh no, Namco aren't that happy with it at all, because this time they've gone overboard. Just look at this for yourself. seen Tekken 3 around quite a while ago in the Namco Wonderland arcade but this is the final version the previous version was only 60% complete and you seem more than happy about that but this is a hundred percent complete and I'm telling you now it's a woozy well here it is ladies and gentlemen the undoubtedly hottest game of 1997 this is an exclusive for the first time on British TV as usual the big boy has it first I've been having a good go on it but my friend Martin here he's the expert he's been playing it all day Martin what do you think of Tekken 3? the game is excellent what what can you say what hasn't already been said about Tekken and Tekken 2 this game is better than the other two put together at the start of this four new characters who are all excellent graphics are a lot smoother a lot more shaded and that the same game plays in there the game the game's just excellent Barry what can I say what do you reckon of the new characters who's your favorite so far um, well there's one it sounds a bit like whoa but it's wrong and he's, he's quite tough he does a lot of punch combos so well quite a few of the women in Tekken usually make me go poor uh, you reckon the graphics are better than before I mean uh, uh, does everything look more realistic or what yeah they're a lot smoother they're not as sharp and as edgy as before they're a lot rounded right so it's all a lot more realistic uh, it's been converted onto a PlayStation 2 do you reckon the PlayStation will be able to handle it I don't think there'll be any problems at all PlayStation's a good machine should be able to handle it yeah great and when will it be hitting arcades uh, should be in a couple of months very soon I think yeah should be soon Great, last but not least, Martin, I heard that a secret character in the game is Hanna-Barbera Snagglebuss. Can you confirm or deny this for us? I'm keeping tight lips about that. It's, if it's in there, it's well hidden. I haven't found it yet, but I, there is a rumour. I told you it was a lie, Drew. Hiya. How you doing? There you go, do a little twirl. There you go. You're on games world. Let's move on. See, what's Michael Barrymore got that I haven't? Moving on. Go on, then. Dare you. Name just one other game that Konami have released in the last three years that was worth playing in the arcade. You can't, can you? This time they have. GTI Club is to the Italian job, basically what uh, pole position was to Formula One racing. It's fantastic. You get to race around in minis and fiats and absolutely wreak havoc on European cities. Now what's better than that? You even get a handbrake in this game. I mean, how absolutely perfect do you want it? Mind you, if they've done the Italian job, what are they going to do next? Zulu? Don't drive till you see the whites of their eyes, sons. Or maybe they'll even do Escape to Victory. Hang on, Gov. We're only four goals down. I reckon we could win this one. Oi, this it's the GTI Club. It is not based on a Michael Caine film called The Italian Job. 
just because you're running around in a mini around Italy, it does not mean it's anything like it. All right, you got that. Anyway, over to Martin. Martin's been playing this for quite a while now. Uh, Martin, what do you reckon of this? Oh, I like this one. This puts the F back into driving. Fun. Well, Konami are really on a good one here. They've not made it especially great graphics. It's just your normal run-of-the-mill car racing game. But they've added different cars. You could driving minis and Fiat. It's, it's the Italian job all over again. You could start singing the self-preservation society all over again. It, it, it's brilliant. And you can take shortcuts as well. Well, we could start singing the self-preservation society, but we'd probably be sued. Uh, now, this game is the first racing game to be a bit novel. I mean, Sega's got a few different games, but this one's got a, a handbrake. What does that add to the action? Um, it does if you use it. I'm not very good at using it, but here we go. Let's give it a try. Oh, nice. But it is, one of the, it is probably the first to use a handbrake. And it, it certainly adds to it if you, if you use it. But I tend not to just whiz around those corners and crash into anything that moves. And that seems to be why you're losing, I think, Martin. I think uh, the graphics don't look as good as the Sega games. Does this hamper the gameplay, do you think? Oh no, it certainly doesn't. When you have lush graphics, it tends, sometimes it tends to slow it down a bit anyway. But you don't need good graphics to make a good game. I, I say that quite a lot, but this is certainly a playable game. It's easy, it's fun. I love it. Good old-fashioned gameplay. Seems to take the slowdown a bit. And not many people know that. Alright. It's a big bouncy castle. Look at that, isn't that good? Which Hi there, you're the cuckoo. You're from... Uh, you're you're from hey, Quasar. What's the difference? Tell me, uh, why do you... Excuse me, I'm here, Joe. This bloke here, he's from Quasar. Why did you change the name from Quasar uh, to Quasar? Because there's Quasar in America already. Ah, legal problems. Exactly. Quasar ah. TV. Please. Quasar TV. Oh, I see. Very clever. Back on me, Joe. Let's go. We're moving on. Uh, no, no, we're backing up. Well, That's a nice help? coat. Hello, sir. Hello, bro. Oh, look. Okay. Oh, look, he's from the edge. Hey, from look the at edge. that. Absolutely. Scott as well, you it's know. Scott and it's... We come from the edge. It's the crew. Head to look after you people. You I, know I like the jewellery, man. Where'd you get it from? Wicked and wild like a crocodile. That's good. Wicked and wild like a I got it from the Seychelles. Oh, you got it from the Seychelles. He's a man from the Seychelles. You look like that guy at Mortal Kombat. What's his name? Jack with the big arm. Yeah, they call me the fire from the wire. Uh -huh. Give you the telephone wire. Yeah, absolutely. I don't. But anyway, let's move on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you very much. I had to fit every single one of them light bulbs myself. I know. It, it was a pilot car. Absolutely ages. And you know, they all go off if just one of them's wrong. It'll take me four years. Okay, everybody, moving on. Oh, dude, look at there. It's Mrs. Pop-Off from rent ghost We got her. We found her. We tracked her down. Okay. <laughs> We're moving on. Pop-Off. Look at this. It's an obstacle course. This was actually the original obstacle course used for gladiators. Oh, and there he goes now. Excuse me. Oh, that was one of the gladiators. I think that was Wolf. Wolf. Never mind. You get all the services on Game Let's go on. Oh, oh, better. Really? It's the only way to travel, ladies and gentlemen. You should remember that, shouldn't you? And in fact, if you send 1995 to the address we'll give you at the end of the show, we'll tell you how to teleport around, won't we, Rick? I'm sorry, I'm being far too serious today. Yes, you are. We don't like you serious. We want the jovial Henderson back in action. This okay, well, anymore. this is the end of the show. Tomorrow is theme night with loads more theme shenanigans. Uh, we'll also be here from the ATEI for the last day. So don't forget to tune in for loads more fun and frolics. Next up on the computer channel is... Global Village. We love it, don't we? It's, it's a whole village great. in half an hour. And that's why we love it. So we'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6.30. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.